In this training module, we will discuss how to install a proper EPDM seam. What we have to do now is we have to put this seam together. So by doing that, there's multiple steps we take. The first step we take is we have to clean the seam, then we have to mark the seam, then we have to prime the seam, then we apply our seam tape and roll it in to complete the detail. So the first step in this process is to clean the rubber and EPDM. Sometimes if we have dirty rubber, we have to actually use scrubby pads and, and really work it in. This is new rubber, so we're just gonna have to give it a quick wipe here due to some of the extra talc powder and foot traffic that we've had onto it. So one thing that's critical in the cleaning process, again, is we wanna clean it out much wider than what we're gonna put our primer onto to make sure that our primer goes onto a clean surface. And we also have to make and ensure that our primer is flashed off or our cleaner is flashed off before we apply primer. Now that we have our seam clean, the next step is to put the seam back into place and we're gonna mark the seam for our seam tape. So with our seam tape, an important part is we want a positive reveal of our seam tape between an eighth and a quarter of an inch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make marks approximately every three feet at about a half an inch from this to this. and I'm putting my mark just outside of where my seam tape goes. So my seam tape will stay just short of this mark. So once we have our seam mark, the next step is to begin installing our primer. And for applying all seams on EPDM, we'll be using JM's EPDM Tape Primer Plus. So the first step we've taken after we've cleaned and marked the seams is we've added a few tack backs here with primer that we can fold the rubber back to make it easier to apply the primer. And now to apply our primer, we have our seam tape is gonna be installed onto this section. First, we prime this rubber and this rubber. So that's our next step. It's critical that our primer gets installed beyond where we have it marked for our seam tape reveal. This way, our seam tape will sit fully embedded into JM EPDM Tape Primer Plus. So after we've applied our primer, we just wanna make sure that our primer is fully flashed. And we can tell by pushing on it that we have tackiness, but the primer doesn't come off when we push it. So the next step is gonna be installing our three inch seam tape. And we're gonna reference those marks that we put on earlier. And we're gonna keep the edge of the tape just inside of those white marks to keep our reveal to an eighth to a quarter of an inch to just how we're looking for it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply the tape to this sheet of EPDM. And then once our tape is fully applied, we're gonna roll this tape. Then we're gonna put this piece of rubber, which is primed over the top of our seam tape, pull the release paper and put our seam together. After we've rolled our seam tape in, we'll gently undo our tack backs. Now we'll roll our seam in.
now that we've completed a field seam, we ran our seam tape from the field up on the flashing. This leaves us with a transition right at the angle change. This transition needs to be patched with uncured membrane. So we need to prime and patch an uncured patch covering this transition by a minimum of three inches. So we'll prime the area. Just with all priming practices, we want to ensure that our primer will extend beyond where our patch goes. Anytime we roll patches in, we have to pay extra caution and detail to all angle changes and transitions. After our patch has been rolled in, it's time to apply our single ply lap caulk. 